Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope that you're all doing well. This channel is about learning all things entrepreneurship, personal finances and personal development so that we can continuously evolve and become better versions of ourselves. If you're seeing me for the first time, hey, hi, my name is Rufar. I hope that you like what you see and you're here to stay. Today we're going to be talking about how to build self-confidence and self-esteem. This is a topic that is truly close to my heart because I was bullied for quite some time in primary school and I only started working on self-confidence when I was around 15 years old. So today we're just going to break down what self-confidence is and the steps that you need to take to be able to build self-confidence and self-esteem. So if this sounds like a topic that you might be interested in, then definitely you need to keep on watching. <laughs> Confidence is understanding that you trust your own judgment, you know your value, and you know that you're worthy regardless of your imperfections or whatever anyone else has to say about you or what they think about you. Self-esteem is knowing that you can cope with anything that is happening in your life and that you have the right to be happy. So we're going to talk about the different steps that you can take to be able to build your self-confidence. Like I mentioned before, I used to be bullied in primary school and I only started working on my self-confidence when I was a teenager when I was around 15 years old. Some people who know me now actually think that I'm confident and something that I'm always confident, but they don't even know the half of it. I actually have to work on it continuously. You need to continuously train yourself to be able to focus on the right habits that will help you to make sure that you build and maintain self-confidence and self-esteem. First thing that you need to work on for you to be able to build your self-confidence is to focus on your body language. To those who watched most of my videos, you'll know that my husband and I actually met at a company that we were working for a couple of years ago. I never used to speak to my husband and one thing that I vividly remember about him was the way that he used to walk. He used to walk like this with his head held up high and I always used to think this guy is overconfident. Like why does he walk like that, you know? I used to call it overconfident because he used to annoy me a little. But you know what? A lot of people liked him and some people actually found him to be inspirational and charismatic simply because of the way that he carried himself. There was always, you know, positive vibes sort of thing going on around him. It's then that I learned that confident people actually inspire confidence in others, making them more likable, approachable, and some may even find them relatable. So focus on your body language. When you're walking, walk around with your head held up high. Smile, just make sure that you're distributing and giving out positive vibes. And I also noticed that learning to maintain eye contact with people is actually another good way of being able to teach yourself how to be self-confident. I know that, well, in my African culture, when you start looking people straight in the eye, particularly the older generation, they can find that to be disrespectful or, you know, a little offensive. But when you're looking at people that maybe are around your same age group or you're in an interview or a social gathering, you find that when you look people in the eye, you appear to be more self-confident. If you feel intimidated to look people directly in the eye, you can actually look at them maybe just like close to the eye, or maybe right here on their face and it may appear that you're looking at them in the eye and that always works. The next thing is that you need to teach yourself how to speak with confidence. This is something that I learned in my late 20s. I've got a friend of mine who introduced me to Toastmasters. Toastmasters did wonders for me. Yo, I found myself winning awards left, right and center because of Toastmasters. But if you're someone who is scared of public speaking or you're not comfortable speaking in front of crowds, Toastmasters is something that you really need to think about and consider. What I liked about Toastmasters was the fact that I was able to go through specific courses that helped me to be able to communicate effectively, that helped me to improve my leadership skills. When I joined Toastmasters, yo, I was shocked to bump into ministers, CEOs, and some local celebrities that are actually on their path to be able to learn how to speak with confidence. The next thing that you can do to build your self-confidence is to not compare yourself with others. Like, I don't even know how many times it's been said out there, comparison is the thief of joy, like truly it is. Don't compare yourself to others in terms of how you look. Don't compare your salary, don't compare lifestyles, don't compare achievements. Because you find that people that really focus a lot on comparing themselves to other people, actually end up experiencing envy and the more you become envious of other people 
the less you actually end up feeling good about yourself so disconnect from anything that makes you feel like okay i think i am comparing myself too much to other people with social media whether it's tv or it's just your general mindset and the negative thoughts in your head just don't compare yourself to other people the next thing that you can do to, in order to build your self-confidence and your self-esteem is to look after your body it's difficult to feel good about yourself when you're continuously abusing your body yep i said it i put it out there so eat healthy exercise like practice self-care each and every time you see hashtag self-care hashtag self-love it's all coming into that where you're looking after your body and research has also shown that physical activity staying fit doing exercises actually does build self-confidence and the last thing is that you need to celebrate yourself like literally woohoo celebrate yourself whatever achievement that you have no matter how small celebrate yourself if you're finding yourself feeling like okay maybe i haven't achieved a lot of things in the past year or in the past six months or whatever it is you can actually sit down and look at past photos look at all your documents whatever it is that you've done before where you felt like you know what i'm happy anything that brings you so much joy just go sit down look at those photos look at those videos look at those documents and you realize that oh okay i can do this if i was able to do this then definitely i can do that and people who don't celebrate themselves actually suffer from low self-esteem because they're thinking okay i don't think i can do this no one's going to like it and you have all those things going on in your head. One of my favorite quotes that really just re-emphasize the importance of being able to celebrate yourself is this one. I don't even know who wrote this one or who actually said this. It says, when nobody else celebrates you, learn to celebrate yourself. When nobody else compliments you, then compliment yourself. It's not up to other people to keep you encouraged. It's up to you encouragement should come from the inside i know guys it's all mushy mushy kind of stuff but i really do love this quote because it speaks so much into what we're talking about today and you find that all the things that i've spoken about today from focusing on your body language from teaching yourself how to speak in public from learning how to stop comparing yourself you find that all these things actually they start from the mind because in your mind, if you do not clear this pretty little thing right here, you'll focus on negative thoughts that will always drain you and pull you down. So think positively. I know it's easier said than done, but I'm still on that journey, guys. And it takes constant reinforcement. But once you've mastered the tricks and once you've mastered how it's done, you'll find that you can get through certain stuff so that's it from me guys that's all i had to talk about today with regards to self-confidence and self-esteem i really hope that you found these steps to be useful if you know someone that might actually benefit from what we spoke about today do share the video you might actually just change someone's lives so if you're interested in seeing more content like this then you need to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new content I love you guys so much. I really hope that you found value in this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye, bye, bye and bye.